Hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your February 2020 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So Leo, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Wise Tarot deck. I'm also pulling you an Oracle of the Fairies Oracle card by Karen Kay. Alright, so what does Leo need to know for February 2020? Rising and Venus signs, February 2020 for Leo. Alright, that was good. Okay, so let's see Leo. All right, Leo, so the overall energy for you guys for February is we have the Five of Cups. So this is why we have readings, Leo, so we can see what's coming up and we can do something about it. So this is just a minor arcana energy. We can change this energy with the Five of Cups here. So it is a five and fives do represent change, but it's not always the easiest change. So. For some of you, you're going through change, um, but with the Five of Cups, emotionally, it might not be the easiest change um, with the Five of Cups. Okay, so Five of Cups, Page of Wands. So there's going to be communication. Maybe... Maybe some of you are, you could even be communicating with someone. You could be reaching out to someone, Leo. Um, because Five of Cups is, is someone who needs to heal. Something happened in the past. You're maybe not completely over it. And so this could be you actually reaching out to someone, talking about the past. For some of you, um, maybe someone from the past is is popping up because we have the page of wands we have the six of cups here there also could be something to do with the child for some of you with the page of wands the six of cups we have the hierophant okay we have the high priestess For others, this might have to do with a large company or organization. Um, it could be something legal with a child for some of you. Maybe it's a custody thing. Let me go ahead and put down the second layer. And with the second layer, the second layer is really clarifying these energies that you have coming up. So we're looking at February for Leo. Five of Cups can talk about loss, sadness, disappointment. It also talks about regret. Regretting something in the past. So you're not over something from the past. Maybe some of you do have an opportunity to actually heal the past. Because we have the Page of Wands with the Six of Cups. And so if you do have an opportunity to maybe heal uh, a past matter, I would take it so you can have closure, maybe Leo, for some of you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Seven of Rods, we do have some repeat cards. So these energies are very significant. Seven of Wands or Seven of Rods is someone who is standing firm. Um, they're very passionate, they feel a certain way. So some of you 
could be um, not backing down, maybe fighting for what it is that you want or for some of you what it is that you feel is fear or what it is that you deserve. Maybe some of you Leos with the Five of Cups, you could have lost something, something that um, maybe meant a lot to you with the Five of Cups. It's, it's, it's taking a toll on you emotionally here. So at the center, I do have Justice with the Knight of Wands. So for some of you, a Libra person could be significant. Maybe a Libra has something to do with this. Um, for others, I mentioned maybe something with a child. It could be a custody thing. Maybe some of you Leos are going through a divorce. And if it's nothing to do with a child, it could just be a divorce. Um, obviously, you're not completely healed from that just yet um, with the Knight of Wands. Some of you Leos, you could be moving house. Um, even for those of you, you're not getting a divorce. You could be moving a moving house. You could be signing a contract here uh, at the start of the month. But the Knight of Wands. Um, he is in the challenge position, and so some of you could be dealing with a younger energy, could be dealing with someone who's dramatic. Clarifying justice, I do have the Ace of Cups here, and so if there was a falling out, if there was a fight, or maybe this is even with your teenager, a child, could be a teenager um, or young adult. There is an opportunity to heal with the Ace of Cups. Um, and then clarifying the Knight of Wands, I do have the Eight of Cups. So for those of you that have maybe separated from a partner, Maybe it's a legal separation. With the Eight of Cups, you actually, for some of you that I'm reading for, you might have left a relationship, or it could have happened in January, but you do have an opportunity to, at some point, you will have an opportunity to reconcile with them. So for some of you, it might not, com might not be completely over with someone. Yes, you could be legally separated, but for some of you, you actually could be getting back together for some of you that I'm reading for. Um, others, this could be on the love front. For some of you, you're definitely definitely dealing with a Libra. The Ace of Cups is a healing energy. If you're feeling overly emotional here, Leo, at the start of February, needing to um, definitely balance your energy, maybe needing to ground yourself, And don't handle anything in a dramatic fashion. At your foundation, uh, I have the King of Swords twice. Justice is a karmic energy, so cause and effect. So don't handle anything in a dramatic fashion. Because some of you might be overly emotional. You could be dealing with um, a king of swords. So an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or someone coming off as the king of swords. And this is someone you dealt with in the past. You know, he can be very judgmental. He can be someone who's harsh. Maybe some of you feel as though something wasn't fair. Now that fairness could be coming in. Ace of Cups is a healing energy. It's a blessing. This could be a blessing of fairness. Maybe something wasn't done um, in a fair way prior. Justice can represent that justice being served. And that deeper meaning or that understanding coming in. In the recent past, I do have the world. So something coming full circle. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So... Um, yeah, if there was like a shady situation, something wasn't fair, or someone was lying, someone was being sneaky, we have the world, so something coming full circle. Um, for those of you that had like a legal matter that was ongoing, 
you could be hearing something right at the start of the month and with the knight of of wands could be coming in suddenly um this could be your attorney with the king of swords who obviously played a big role in this for those of you that are getting justice um your attorney is is very significant for some of you now um yeah with the world this talks about success uh and with justice this is a very favorable outcome and so there's a blessing um some emotional healing that's taking place maybe you had to fight for this with the seven of rods and maybe there was disappointment but there's news coming in some of you are maybe letting go of the past healing um the past crowning you i have the four of rods with the two of rods <clears throat> and so yeah for some of you a relationship could be it could be healing a relationship again i i mentioned even if you're legally separated um it, it's still possible for some of you you're getting back together <clears throat> four of wands for those of you that you know you've had this legal decision come through you could be celebrating you could be celebrating i could even be reading for some leos we are you're starting the next chapter of your life. Um, you have the world here in the recent past. And so maybe some of you are getting married. Um, you could be starting a family with the four of wands, or at least you're thinking about it. This is you in planning mode with the two of rods here. Planning, planning on getting married, planning on starting a family, expanding your family, making those plans, having a world of possibilities in your hand, Leo, very nice. So this is all about letting go of the past um, and looking forward, moving on, letting go. Letting go of um, something that maybe hurt you emotionally, but you are moving on. It has to happen in, in your, you know, in your own way, at your own pace, but I do see it happening. Um, coming up around the second week, I have the seven of rods again we have the six of pentacles so i think that this is an energy leo that you have been dealing with you've been fighting maybe for some of you if it's a legal matter it's been ongoing um but this is finally completing um and so you had the advantage so you stood your ground and we have uh help coming in or you receiving we have the six of pentacles and we know that you have news coming in with the Page of Wands, the Knight of, of Wands. And so you stood your ground uh, for some of you. And we see we see help coming in with the Six of Pentacles. We see you receiving also the energy feeling quite balanced um, at the start of the month and the second week. I think that maybe prior it didn't. Um, but here in February it does. And if something was confusing or up in the air if, if if yeah if something was confusing or unclear in the position of your power i have the queen of swords with the moon and this can be you leo um basically cutting through any bs any confusion getting down to the bottom of, of something also seeing clearly i think that you've been emotional and maybe suspicious you've you've dealt with um some confusion prior i think that this is you actually um cutting through that here if someone was lying to you with the seven of swords in the recent past you would actually be finding out about it that would be coming to light uh this is your energy around the third week for some of you females, you might have ear in your chart, um, but you, you're you coming through very strong here at this time, very focused, very strong. Um, she is someone who seeks justice and fairness. She's been hurt in the past. Listen to your intuition at this time. Some of you will be incredibly psychic here in February could be also a more emotional month for you those of you 
that are getting married, that want to start a family. Um, I would say there's a good possibility of that within the next month, Leo. In the position of how others are viewing you, I do have the Lover's card with the Queen of Rods. And so, yes, I mean, you could be feeling the Queen of Swords, feeling, you know, very tough and um, a little, for some of you, less emotional. But um, you do have some emotional energy here. I'm just seeing what else I'm getting here. But others are viewing you as the Queen of Rods, which is a beautiful, attractive woman. She's very fiery. She's feisty. She's ambitious. She's motivated. She's got a lot of personality. Normally very optimistic. So this is how you're being viewed. There also can be a very strong attraction here. Someone sees you as a very attractive person. Someone's maybe drawn to you, um, very attracted to you with this combination. So, I mean, you could be feeling uh, a little guarded because maybe you've been hurt in the past for some of you. And also you just went through something um, But someone is very drawn to you. Someone is very drawn to your energy. But you might be hiding your feelings. You could, yeah, for some of you, you're protecting your heart. You're hiding your feelings. In the position um, of hopes and fears, we have the King of Cups. We have judgment. So we have the King of Swords. We have the King of Cups. We also have two queens here. Um, for some of you, it is going to be a more social month for you. There's a lot of characters around you. Maybe something has gone on with a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces. For those of you getting back together with someone, they might have Libra, they might have air in their chart, they also might have water in their chart. They could be a Cancer with the moon. Um, you could be making a decision, uh, about a King of Cups with judgment. Some of you, this could be you reconciling. You might be quite fair with someone. You, Leo, might have a decision that you have to make with the lover's card. You could be choosing between two women. Um, if you date women, you could be choosing... Be between two women, you might have an air sign, you might have a fire sign around you. So if you're choosing between two women, I think that you are going to follow your heart. You are going to listen to your intuition. You might actually have a, a strong emotional connection with someone. For some of you, there could be a, a spiritual and emotional connection now, energy that you have going into March, Leo, we have the Magician, we have the Tower. So for some of you, possibly a Gemini person is significant. And again, if someone was lying to you, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Moon. We have this emotional energy here, even though I think that some of you are trying to definitely maybe hide that um, or control your emotions. If someone was lying to you, that would be surfacing. That would be coming to light here in February. You have this karmic energy here. And the tower is not automatically negative. For some of you, this is a lot of emotional energy. And honestly, uh, someone could be quite emotional here. There could be an outburst. Um, could be with a Gemini for some of you. A Gemini, a Virgo. 
Uh, yeah, so someone could be upset. You could be dealing with someone who is upset. You could be upset here at this time. Uh, others, others, there's like this awakening, this realization. For some of you, something happening very suddenly here at this time. And with the Knight of Rods in the challenge position here at the start of the month, this is a shift in the energy for some of you. And, and something happening uh, maybe when you least expect it and with the magician I think you're going to handle it quite well um, because we have this energy in the position of your power and for you Leo males I mean we have the king of swords at your foundation so I mean you're coming through no matter if you're male or female I mean you have this tough exterior and if something is happening suddenly, I think you're going to handle this situation well. You're you're well equipped for this um, with the magician, basically. Um, he he is a talker. He's very skilled. Uh, he has all the tools that he needs when it comes to really anything. When it comes to making changes. When it comes to manifesting. Um, I could be reading for some. Leo's again, maybe you're signing a lease, maybe, maybe you're moving house um, with the tower. It could be a building. Uh, and the four of, of, of wands crowning you. If something didn't work out in the past, maybe it wasn't meant to be. Uh, but we see you manifesting here at this time. We see you having everything you need for some of you to be successful. Um, the tower can also represent a blessing in disguise. So if something didn't work out for you prior, uh, it's because something else was meant to come into your life. All right, so additional guidance for Leo. So now focusing on love life. This is for coupled and single Leos. All right. And those of you that do have new love, a love interest, an ex that's still around. If you do have someone around you and you're wondering how they're feeling, I am looking at that other person for Leo. Leo, we have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. So this resonates very much, Leo. Hidden depth. So for those of you that someone hurt you with the five of cups, there is an opportunity to maybe heal the past. Um, we see that here. And also with the eight of cups here, this for me uh, isn't just about walking away, but it's about going deeper, um, having a deeper understanding or seeing the deeper meaning. This is a lot of emotional energy. And for those of you that it's not happening at the start of February, it is happening in February. And like I mentioned, if someone was hiding something from you, that will be coming to light, Leo, here in February um, with this energy. So just know that. So you are going to be understanding something here. You are going to be going deeper, okay? And for some of you, finding something out. Looking at love life, we do have true love. This is this is the romance of a lifetime. So this Ace of Cups, for some of you, is new love coming in, possibly with a Libra, 
possibly you already know this person. Now maybe for some of you, you're realizing that you love someone. For some of you, you're realizing this with this combination. Those of you that are already partnered, those of you getting back together with someone, I think you're realizing some stuff about this, about this person. Now, maybe this person was harsh with you prior um, or you were very harsh with them. Um, someone even could have misjudged someone. But you're going deeper here. For some of you, if you're already partnered, you're getting back together, you could be falling more in love with your partner. Looking at how the other person is feeling, we have, please don't doubt my love for you. It's the only thing I'm sure of. So yes. Again, someone could have uh, judged someone wrong. But you do have an opportunity to forgive. You do have an opportunity to heal a relationship. Okay, Leo. So very nice reading. Um, I hope that you found it helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you're interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. Over on Vimeo, I have the 2020 Tarot and Lenormand forecast. If that's something that interests you, the link is below. All right, guys, have a great month. Take care.